created post will be given a motorbike, new brand new motorbike. It could be recalled that the National Assembly Select Committee on Health recently concluded a countrywide tour in all public health facilities with the sole aim of obtaining first-hand information on the challenges facing some of these facilities. Barely three weeks after the Select Committee reported back to the body governing all health facilities in the country, the body has responded quickly to the recommendations of the Select Committee. The link that I'm seeing beginning, and people must read, mm -hmm. all ministries, all aspects of our service people, mm -hmm. so that uh, if that continues, mm -hmm. the government is going to be seen as one unit. Our society is going to be seen as one unit. Interdependence and reciprocity. Mm -hmm. uh, the National Assembly is very grateful. Mm -hmm. And I want to say, on behalf of the entire National Assembly, mm -hmm. we thank you profoundly. Mm -hmm. Because we in the National Assembly do not see ourselves as individuals representing constituencies. Mm -hmm. This is why the, the description now is National Assembly, not Parliament, mm -hmm. where each of us will advocate for the region you represent. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we have this for three constituencies mm -hmm. who come, uh, serve people who are hard to reach. Mm -hmm. Empowering our National Assembly matters by providing ambulances and other needs for their communities. Because National Assembly members are also representatives of the people. And what you are doing is community-based. So there is a dialectical relationship between what you do in health and the National Assembly. In another related development, the World Health Organization, who are also key partners in government's drive to uplifting the health status of Gambians, has handed over medical equipment, including pulse oximeters, patient monitors, oxygen concentrators, amongst others. These vital medical equipment are meant for the intensive care unit of the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. Today, we are very opportune and lucky once again um, we are presenting some brand new medical equipment which are kindly donated by the um, World Health Organization in the Gambia. Um, what happened was sometime last year um, there was a great need, there was a, um, a request which emanated from the EFSTH hospital new management team who gave us a list of um, vital equipment and drugs that were required. As my PS has said yet again, we're here with the good leadership of our Honorable Minister and the support, unflinching support of the World Health Organization. This is showing the cooperation and the partnership that we have with our UN organizations. We're always knocking on their doors. When the hospitals or the institutions knock on our doors, we also knock on the doors of our partners and you can see that they are very, very responsive. We are doing this upon a response to a critical need of this important hospital. This is the premier hospital in this country. And for that matter, the, uh, the equipment and supplies to address emergencies are of vital importance to the health care delivery in this country. And as we've heard from the PS, when the emergency call came, WHO responded. We responded by providing resources to purchase these vital equipment and supply to the hospital. Today I think another happy day, personally to me and to all the staff, because we receive very important equipment. I think now we are in the right, right way because we ask about what we need. Please, if anybody wants to donate anything for the hospital, they must to ask what we need. We need this equipment for the ICU. Maybe with this equipment we can save a lot of patient life. With the donation of these hospital materials, health officials were quick to urge the beneficiaries to utilize the vehicles and motorbikes for their intended purpose. Uminjai, GRTS. 
The next Operation Clean the Nation is slated for Saturday, 1st March 2014. A news release from the National Environment Agency reminds all National Assembly members, governors, Sefolu, Alkalulu, ward councillors and government institutions of the presidential directive, urging them to organize and participate in the national cleanup exercise within their respective areas of responsibility. A four-day synergy for farmers and small-scale entrepreneurs News is underway at Juno Agricultural Training Center. The program organized by the National Agricultural Land and Water Management Project NEMA also attracted operators in the rice and vegetable value chain. Winifred Nicole Hadibet has more. Representatives drawn from across the country for a four day tutorial meant to further enhance their skills along the rice and vegetable value chain production. This training, um, yes, there's lots of entrepreneurship training going on in the country. They've been, you know, for years now, they've been having different types of training. But particularly, we have an interesting component, which obviously it, it, it adds value to the training. And that's, that's the Capital Investment Stimulation Fund. That is, that is a fund that is available for small-scale holders to be able to um, get access to credit to be able to grow their business. We want to see farming grow from the rudimentary um, farming that we used to do, you know, and, and the, the, to, to a more mechanized farming. So we want to create opportunity where farmers and, and, and potential um, businesses will, will get access to, to machines that will actually work for them on their farms and, 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 and grow their business. This step-down training, which marks the initial implementation stage of the NEMA project, comes barely a week after the project signed an MOU with Reliance Financial Services. Given the speed at which um, the implementation uh, has been initiated, um, we in the private sector, we pride ourselves um, with making sure that we attend to deliverables as quickly as possible. And this is a manifestation um, that we, in partnership with NEMA, would be in a better position to ensure successful delivery of this project. The expectations under the MOU have been clearly spelled out and value high. And the message being launched by partner institutions is one of renewed efforts towards increased productivity and food security. Gone are those days when you know, we cultivate just to take care of our families and then, you know, struggle the other way to get uh, means to take care of our children's school fees, children's health, you know, our own, you know, family welfare from another source. By the end of this project, we would have really mainstreamed the relationship that this project is trying to develop into the activities of the farmers. Um, success for this project is actually uh, ensuring that the participants in this project and uh, the, the spillover effects have actually embraced commercial farming and they are in a better position to stand on their own feet to ensure sustainability of the initiatives of this project. Concern Universal is said to have had long-standing partnership with local farmers across the country and thus one of the partners in pushing the agenda of the NEMA project. In, in a very short uh, uh, time, farmers will begin to see the need to, you know, uh, see farming as a business and, you know, get into farming uh, with uh, the application of all the business principles. A rare opportunity for farmers and local entrepreneurs to table before business experts their proposals and business plans as they have also forged partnership with the NEMA project. We're here to forge partnership with them to see how best we can collaborate and support in writing the business plans for the entrepreneurs that, they, that we're training today. It is offshoot in the implementation of a project highly premised on bettering the lots of local farmers and entrepreneurs within the rice and vegetable value chain. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Winifred Nicole Hadibat. We will be back with news from outside the Gambia after this break.
Welcome back. French Prime Minister Jean-Marc Ariel has given a favorable assessment of Paris intervention in the Central African Republic, but he also said a lot more needs to be done. Ariel 